you are into movie and movie related discussions, you've come to the right place. Who am I, you ask? I am The Wiz! And this is a solo review today, and I am reviewing the film Barton Fink, the 1991 drama comedy starring John Turturro and John Goodman, directed by Joel Cohen, written by Joel and Ethan Cohen, the Cohen brother. I have talked before of some of my favorite films of all time, and up number one, if I had to choose one, would probably be the movie Fargo, the 1996 Cohen brothers film. It is a astounding piece of film that really got me into wanting to review film. And, and at one point, wanted to be a filmmaker, but talking about film and writing about it is something that I was very passionate about. And it all started with watching Fargo. And it's a movie that I've kept in high esteem ever since I've seen it. We all have our favorites. We all have our favorite filmmakers. And one of them has always been the, the Coens. I've enjoyed Fargo. I really like the movie Inside Lewin Davis. They've done other films. I've had a weird kind of relationship with them. The, the ones that give them the most praise, like uh, No Country for Old Men, I'm kind of cool on. I, I'm not a big fan of No Country for Old Men, but I do like a lot of their different pictures, like The Man Who Wasn't There, I like, uh, I even like their Hollywood-esque film, Intolerable Cruelty. I don't know why. I just like that film a lot. And Raising Arizona is pretty good, too. So I am definitely a fan of the Coen brothers, so I was really looking forward to watching Barton Fink. So let's just get into it. Let's get into the review of Barton Fink, starring John Turturro and John Goodman, directed by the Coens. After I watched the film, I, I did something that I normally don't like to do, and it's basically look up people's interpretations of the movie and what the other reviews thought. I already had an idea of how I felt about the film when I, after I was done with it. I really want to understand what some people thought the film was really about. And after I read a few of the interpretations, I just came up to the conclusion that I don't really care. I am pretty disappointed by this movie. I've heard great things about it. I've heard it's a, a different thing that the Coens have done in the past. And it is different. It does uh, something very unique in this movie that they don't really do in other movies. But just because it's different doesn't exactly mean it's better. And I, I think that's one of these movies where I would say that just because it's weird doesn't make it unique or doesn't make it really a good movie. It just makes it kind of, in, in this case, honestly, boring. I, I was actually bored throughout most of it. I think the, the thing I'm starting to notice about me when it comes to the Coen brothers is I like their drama with a tinge of dark comedy. That's Fargo, Inside Lewin Davis, stuff like that. I, and I like their pure comedies, too. They're Raising Arizona and Tolerable Cruelty. They're good movies, too. But when it's comedy with a tinge of dark drama, it doesn't work for me. Uh, and the really black drama, like like No Country for Old Men or Blood Simple, it just didn't work at all for me. Neither of them did. I'm having that similar problem with Barton Fink. Barton Fink is a comedy with some dark drama into it. What it is about is John Turturro plays a, a playwright who gets optioned by a studio to write a movie about wrestling, which is the exact opposite of what he was writing when he was a playwright. And since he's there, he comes up with a terrible case of writer's block. Immediately when that started happening, it reminded me of the 2000s film from Spike Jones, which is Adaptation. And Adaptation is an excellent movie and it does something very unique with the concept. I will not spoil what Adaptation does, but I think it does that story a lot better than I think Barton would think. For the first hour, I just sat there watching the movie and it looks good. The cinematography is good. And I think the sound design actually is actually very good in this movie. The hearing of the creaking in certain areas, the wind that comes up as you open the close the door, like those details are actually really good in this. But the comedy and the drama that's in the movie just doesn't land for me at all. Like the first hour is kind of a slog. It, the, the comedy's okay, but the movie really drags and it tries to rely a lot on the different characters that are populate the film. And as funny as some of the characters are, it just didn't land with me at all. I just sat here watching the movie going, what else is gonna happen? And like for the first hour, 
I was waiting for that shoe to drop. And then the shoe drops, and a twist happens. And I won't get to this, the twist right now. I'll put that in the spoilers. And the twist for me did not work. It really did not. Like, I sat there going, what is going on? And nothing about the twist really landed. So I just sat here watching the film going, what exactly are they doing here? And I just really did not jive with the film. It just really did not hold my attention. Honestly, at certain points of the film, I kind of trailed off. I didn't think that would be happening uh, for a movie from the Coen brothers, but in this case, it did. And I know this film is pretty divisive. I know some love it and others like me do not like it at all. And that camp that just doesn't like this movie, it just did nothing for me at all. So let's get into performances. John Turturro's okay. I mean, I like John Turturro as an actor, but he comes off as like a little too whiny and a little too like uh, just like a person I just don't want to be around so there's that John Goodman's good in this but I think the best performance of the movie is John Mah Mahoney who plays W.P. Mayhew it's a decent performance it's, it's actually kind of funny uh, and also very tragic and screwed up and everything but it, it's really like a five or ten minute part it's fine Tony Shalhoub is actually pretty good as a, a, a scumbag producer. It, but these characters aren't in the movie all that much. It's mainly John Turturro and John Goodman who are in, these, in this film. And as much as I do like John Goodman, I'm kind of in on Turturro, really. So I, I didn't like really the performance that Turturro gave. It's, it's fine, but I just didn't like the character very much. I got into writing. Directing is good. The way that the film is shot, I think is very good. It's interesting in certain aspects, but it just doesn't hold the att my attention, really. It, it, I watch the film honestly going, what is going to happen? Usually that's a good sign that someone is interested in what's going on, what's about to happen next. But in this movie, it wasn't like, oh, I can't wait to have what's going to happen next. It, it, my feeling was, I hope something interesting happens. And it just really didn't in this movie. Even when the twist happened, I just was like, no. Nah. So let's get into spoilers for Barton Fink, the 1991 drama comedy directed by the Coens. If you have not seen it, you can stop here and come back when you're ready. I will get into spoilers in five, four, three two one okay so the first half is barton trying to figure out how to defeat his writer's block to make the script the second half happens when the person that he sleeps with which is audrey played by judy davis they have sex and then at the end of that sequence it blocks out and he wakes up with her murdered and when this scene happened, I was like, what is going on? And it wasn't like a, oh my God, what is going on? It's more like, what are they trying to do here? <laughs> what, what is this? I, I kind of, I hate to say it, but my eyes kind of glazed over when it happened. And I was like, oh, I was like, I, what are they doing? So the second half pretty much turns into a murder mystery slash trying to hide the fact that Audrey was murdered. And it turns out that the character that Goodman is playing, who is an insurance salesman in the first half of the movie, is actually a wanted serial killer. And when that came up, I just was like, all right, sure. <laughs> I wasn't like, oh, interesting. I was like, yeah, all right, whatever. <laughs> I don't care. I really don't. John Goodman, when he does the, the murderer part, actually is pretty good, but the story just doesn't land with me very well in this. I'm confused as to what the movie was trying to do, but I'm gonna be also honest with you, I don't entirely care either. I, I just was not interested at all throughout this film. When they get to the surrealistic part of John Goodman's character, who is now a serial killer, killing the cops and flames are going all over the hotel, I just got to a point where I was like, okay, this is not doing anything for me at all. I'm like, but it's almost over, so whatever. The film doesn't really answer whether what happened was in Barton's head or if it actually happened, or does it matter? It just seems like it didn't matter to a certain extent, but again, it was kind of important in a certain sense. It just seemed messy. It's not messy in the way where Mulholland Drive is messy, where even though I, I don't quite understand what's going on, I want to know more. This is more along the lines of it's messy to a point where it just it seems like I have to clean something up, and I'm just not interested in wiping the screen down. 
I was like, okay, never mind. I'll let somebody else do this. Have a good day. That, that's kind of how I felt towards the end of the film. I, it did not hit well with me. I, and I kind of see where the, the Coens were going to a certain extent. But I just think the second half twist, I think, messed it up. To me, at least. There are some people who love this film, and more power to you. But I'm on that camp that just doesn't get it and just doesn't like it. And I don't know if I will watch it again. Maybe I need to watch it again to get it. But uh, at this point, I I'm not interested in doing that. I just was not really impressed with the film very much. Technically, it visually, it looked good. But story-wise, I, j I just did not hit the way I wanted it to. Okay, so final thoughts on Barton Fink. This might be my least liked of the Coen Brothers movies. I think in performances, I like John Mahoney and John Goodman. I didn't like John Turturro very much in this movie, but the, the, the one thing I had the biggest problem with is the story. The first part was too slow and didn't keep my interest. And when the second part happened, it, it just didn't feel like it give, gave me enough to feel like I didn't waste my time watching the first half. So that's a big problem with me. As I said, I think this is my least liked of the Coen Brothers movies. Well, you know what? I'll take that back. I didn't like The Lady Killers very much. Uh, I, I think The Lady Killers is probably the worst one, followed by, I think, this one. I did not enjoy this movie at all. I'm going to give this uh, a one star out of five. I really did not like the movie. It just did nothing for me. I thought the story that was in this movie was dull, and then it got confusing, but it it didn't justify the dullness of the first half. And it just felt like I was just getting fucked with to get fucked with, and I just don't like that feeling when I watch a movie. Unless, like, being fucked with is part of the experience, and they do a good job in certain circumstances, like, like Mulholland Drive. That movie fucks with you. Let me get, don't get me wrong. But the visuals and the story involved in that movie, I don't mind it because I want to learn more. I did not care at all in this movie about learning more what was going on. I just wanted it to end. So one star out of five for me, Barton Fink, a supreme disappointment. I, I cannot believe how much I just did not like this movie. So if you're a Coen Brothers fan, uh, you know, honestly, if you're a Coen Brothers fan, you might have already seen it. But if you haven't... I, I guess still give it a shot. And I just did, it did not hit very well. But there are people who love this movie. I might be in the minority. So check it out if you want. I would say you can skip it, but that's up to you. One star out of five for a part of the thing.